Hello there, I am Giant Girls from Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took down Team Aqua at the Weather Institute and battled with the rest of the trainers leading up to the Weather Institute. We got a couple items like a Hyper Potion, and I think that's all I can remember for the um, items, yeah. But here we are. We also got a Leaf Stone when we went down here. And yeah, we're gonna continue on. I have, um, I have Night up front, so let's go. Oh. oh look, it's May. Grotto, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Are you ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! Okay, so we have another battle with May. How many Pokemon does she have this time? Still just the same three, okay. But probably a ball to or something, I don't know. She already had a Lombre, I think, from the last battle we had with her. So... I'm gonna just do a headbutt. And of course you just make me flinch. Get that little 1 HP out of the way, 1 free hit. Let's just use the headbutt. And it's faster than me, so... I guess it's a little bit of a challenge. I'm, th I'm almost 4 levels high higher than it. I'm 3 levels higher than it. But almost 4. And I did about half, so let's just use another... Head button and shift one, swift one too much to me because you know I'm quad resistant to it. So, as we said before, there goes the one brain. Now, everyone on my Pokemon's level 33. Nice. Wash Trump, huh? I want to go with the grass type then because Wash Trump's four with the grass type of one. So, I'm guessing that shrooms and hopefully just Mega Drain up to the face and hopefully it faints because you know it's four times with the grass type of one. I could drain that thing. I should faint it, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, though. See, I got too far ahead of myself. I thought it would faint it, but it didn't. I was going to go for the takedown. Can get some more called damage on it. My knight doesn't have to worry about that, because it has a rockhead ability, which doesn't make it... Which prevents recoil damage. That's why I wanted that specific ability when I caught it. I'm going to go for the Mach Punch. There we go. Nice. Slugma. Okay, we go with a water type now. Um, I'll go with the Prime. Even though you know Peter has Surf and all, I wanna try to find it with a Bubble Boom or something. I don't know. And it's still raining. Rain continues to fall. How nice. I'm gonna go for the Bubble Boom. I'm hoping this always do half. Okay, just totally annihilated it. That time I didn't get ahead of myself, you know? So that's good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Coastal Wolf, okay. Aka! Incredible, you're strong! I was worried that might, you might be struggling with your training. <laughs> As if. Thanks for the $18.60. But I have- But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. It's your motor, which is fly. Nice. Go to put the dice. Okay, we put it away basically. Use fly and your Pokemon will instantly carry it in town that you've already visited. But to use fly, you have to get the gym badge from Fortress City. Um, that's that's important, so don't forget. You should fly home and visit a little bit for change. I bet your mama's worried about you, Gretel. What? Well, what? Let's meet again somewhere. And she goes off on her bike. Uh, even though I can't use fly. Oh, it's Scott. <laughs> Aha, where to go, Gretel? I passed by. A trainer riding on your bike. You beat that trainer, didn't you? Well, that's my rival, technically, so you know. Or she is my rival. Or one of them. It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked very upset with a face all red from anger. Aww, May's all angry now. I, sh I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortune, to Fortune Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at that gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, even though I can't use fly outside of battle, I'm still gonna teach it to Peter. So let me go through my gyms and new gyms. Fly. Yes, the fly to move, so I also get some type attack bonus, which is nice. And the only Pokemon that can win is Peter, so that's all for you, Peter. I'm gonna get with a wing attack. So my final move set for Peter will be fly, shockwave, stealing, and surf. So keep in mind with that. Wing attack, I'm sorry, but you have to go bye-bye. I got fly now, baby. 
Yeah. And fire um so I think uh wing attack has sixty power and then I think fire has seventy power so it's a little bit stronger, but it takes two turns to work. But you can avoid an attack while you're in there though, so that's nice. That's a little trade off. So I'm gonna go back to the top of my stuff. Just to keep it all organized, so there we go. Yep. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Prime because I noticed that Prime is almost level thirty four. So I think Prime will be like my first Pokemon to reach level thirty four. As as the way I see it right now. It's a double battle. I forgot who's my second slot though. Hit me with a power cord. Victory is mine. Okay, so this is a guitarist, like so obviously like Magnemite or Lounger or something like that. Or Whisper. Uh, to work in the shadow to work in shadows and live in darkness, that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. So a ninja boy and a guitarist, as far as I'm concerned. I was right. Guitarist, Theban, and Ninja Boy Yasu. Okay, Magnemite and Ninja is what I have up front. I have uh, Blaine and Prime, I guess. Okay, so I'm guessing that Ninja has speed boost ability, so I want to get rid of that first because that thing will be a very, very quick Pokemon because after every turn, it'll raise its speed strike, but I believe. So I'm going to use Ice Beam and I'm going to use Flamethrower just to, you know, make sure it doesn't cause us any trouble. There we go, nice. And okay, oh, nice, and I'm super effective too. 34 for Prime. Double Edge. Hmm. I don't think Double Edge was in my final move set. No, it wasn't. Sorry, I'll just skip out on it. I didn't, it didn't deal with recoil damage, and I don't really want to deal with that either. So I'll pass on Double Edge. This may not take a flamethrower to the face. It's gotta raise this attack. I see. Well, I see. I'm gonna go for. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself, the rain is continuing to fall. I feel like I'm being rushing you guys or something. I'm gonna go for the bubble beam and the double kick. There we go. Nice. You show me who's the boss. We will have to take this loss though. Oh no. We'll have to take the loss, my bad. I admit defeat. Thanks for the $11.44 guys, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm right here, right? Sometimes he pulls away. Okay, we can tell that later though. I see an ninja boy right there, it's bad camouflage, you know, because I'm used to it. Let's go to Peter actually, yeah. Let's take this ninja boy on. Tide, a tree, use a forest. Good to know. Good to know, Ninja Boy. Get okay, coffin. I'm gonna try to surf it. I'm gonna just surf it. Surf on it, you know? Surf is good. So hopefully, this does at least half. Fancy, you know? That's cool too. Another coffin. I'm just gonna do the surf. I'm gonna just surf on it, bro. Surf, surf, hang ten. Well, it must be hard to do a hang ten on a surfboard, like in real life, when with the real big waves that are like six feet to ten feet tall. Because hang ten means you're like hanging on the board with just the grip of your toes, like curved, like um, just like gripping the side, the front of the surfboard. That must be really hard, because like, you're putting all your weight on one side of the surfboard, so wouldn't that like, tip over really easily if you're not careful? Like, I could probably never do surfing, because I'm not a strong swimmer in real life, and I don't have good balance, so I don't think I would, I can't even skateboard that well, and I probably fall on my butt a lot of times, honestly. So I wouldn't probably be good at surfing at all. I'm not good at ice skating, or rollerblading, uh, there's a lot of stuff I can't really do in that case. Uh, Pomeg berries, I think, right here. Yeah, let's just pick these Pomeg berries. We'll get a total of six. How nice. I want to look up after we're done picking up how, 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 what they do exactly, because I kind of forget what the Pomeg berries do. So let me just pick these last two and we'll look at the description and be on our way. 
Oh, and there's an area we can't access yet. I think I'll go back to it. I think we need waterfall. HMO 7 waterfall for that area. But, um, we'll get to that later, I guess. We'll, and we still have the aqua bike too. I'll have to switch if we go back to the mock bike. And then we'll just switch back to the aqua bike. Because you'll probably need the aqua bike to, you know, access that area. With you and the bunny hops. Uh, berries, berries, berries. Okay, um. We'll make berries. Makes the Pokemon friendly, but lowers base HP. I have 14 of those for some reason. I had 8 and I was plus 6 is 14 that I just picked. I guess that's good for raising friendship, but you have to, like, um, get rid of some of your base HP or, uh, not, not, like, grow as much base HP when you level up or something. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but I'm gonna heal up real quick. Okay, I'm back outside the Pokemon Center. So if you guys can hear, like, a lawnmower going in the background, oh, after all, it's summer, you know, people cutting their grass. You know, the usual. So, can I sell anything by the chance? Anything that I want to sell? Let me see here. I'll sell the zinc. And I'll sell the, not the repel, the iron. Calcium. And yeah, I'll go back to the Pokemon Center actually after this. To Put the leaf stone, the elixir, and the max ether, I think, back in my PC because I've got to do that. And let's buy like eight more Osh Balls, I guess. I don't know. Just so we have them. Super potions, let's buy like three more. Hyper potions, we can buy like four, I guess. I'm only splurging on the monies here, but that's okay. Antidotes, we have like 14, yep. <laughs> Parasios were good. Awakenings. We had the blue foot, so we don't need the awakening. But it's good to have one in our bag, I guess. Revives. This is very important. I want to buy like. I'll buy, I'll buy like. Um, let's make an even 10. Super Pels. Nice. Let's go for like. Um, uh, 17, I guess. And then we're done. Nice. So we should be good for a while on items now. Now that I just stocked up. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and deposit those three items I talked about the Loose Stone, the Max Ether, and the Elixir. Be right back. Now we can explore Fortress City. What do you have to say, little kid? He looks like he's like just standing with his little arms out like a scarecrow, honestly. Okay, um, there are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. Nice. I'm not gonna talk to everyone, I'm just gonna look around. Wait, I think you could get hand power here. Yeah. Right, I, know, I think we can get TM10 hidden power somewhere in here. I think it's in a different tree cabin, no tree house. So I think it might, it's probably not in this one, but I'll check. Oh, this is where I can buy like, furniture for your secret base. You can just buy. But well, remember, this, I don't think these are, um, are uh, refundable, so once you buy them, you're stuck with them. So, unless you like throw them away somehow, I think you can probably throw them away, but I don't know. So be very careful, they're kind of pricey too, but it's all for your secret base. I might do a secret base video soon, but I don't have the motivation to do that right now. Decorations are fun. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to these people, because they're probably like, oh, I'm just a person. Oh, this guy will send out his Wingle. There you go, bird Pokemon. Hehe, <laughs> I sent my Wingle to run around for me. I think that Wingle will go all the way to Moss Deep City, which we'll get to later. And then that person, will, if we talk to him, will swing it, will fly their Wingle back like a, it's like a mail carrier, you know, message. But you, uh, you, you can't get, you have a dropped, sometimes there's dropped Wingles, like, you know, dropped um, signals. I don't know, that was a bad joke, that was a bad joke. That was a really bad joke, actually. Yeah, I got Pokedex as well, so. I met this trainer, Steven, who was searching for rare stones. Oh boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrify ex to for terrifying extremes. He might even become be stronger than the Jewish in this town. <laughs> Steven Stone, such a hot shot. Oh no, I can't get I can't go to the gym. Something in Seville is in the way. We'll have to get to that later. I'll find this part actually. So if you go in here, this might be where I get TM ten. If you talk to this guy, 
Okay, okay, yeah. Just step this okay. Right hand, okay, I can't remember the left. I can't remember the order. I think it's right, right, left, so I'll try that first. Yes, right, okay. Try again, what chance is uh, Right or left, right? Yes, correct. And then I uh, try again. Is it gonna be a left? Ha, ah, I remember the order, right, right, left. You get TM10, which is hidden power, which is a okay move, but I really wouldn't recommend it. I kinda, I forgot the description. I think it depends on like the environment that you want, kinda like secret power is. Let's look that up real quick. And the, the attack varies among different Pokemon, okay. I don't really recommend it, cause, cause uh, it just varies on the power. It does have 100% accuracy. Um, I don't recommend it. I won't even take the speedy, because even the speedy would have the same type of attack bonus. I still wouldn't like, um, I have other plans for speedy's move final move sets, so I'll pass on that one. Okay, I think Peter's still fun. Let me check real quick. There we go. Let's go and do some more battles. Oh, uh, parasol wait, I think. Why can, why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. Okay, fair enough. Okay, and so I guess if I never actually talk to the trainers again after I battle them, I can just move on. But for this case, I'll talk to this trainer after the battle. I mean, I'm not, I don't have a good habit of doing that, you know, because sometimes they'd have, um, they follow up on what they say before they battle you. Uh, let's, let's just move, new move 5. Okay, this will be neutral effect, because I'm grass, or no, because I'm flying and water type. If I go for the fly, I'm going to be up in there for a turn. I avoid that sun spoil, which is nice. And the fly hits, and the shoot fainted. There we go. How nice. Get a ton of, get a fair amount of experience right there. Okay, for my manga stay in, I'm gonna use shockwave on it. Shockwave attack. Okay, of course you go for a while, but that's actually pretty smart. Should at least do half, I think. Ah, oh, when he KO'd, nice. Corsella, your parasol can't wand off Pokemon attacks. Thanks for eleven dollars and twenty cents. Okay, I don't think strong sunlight is good for my Pokemon, so I shield them with my parasol. Oh, guess why? That's nice. Oh, if you cut two trees right here, they'll be hit an item, and that hit item it should be a red candy. But I'll skip out on that one because I don't really have cut with me. I like to carry my final team members instead. So you know. Oh no! Something unseeable is in the way again for the third time, I think. Yeah, for the third or fourth time. So I have to go back to that. Oh, it gets Gabby and Ty, and this is the final third spot where we'll see him. So yeah. And they'll go back to the um the route north of Marvel, um, because I, sw I switch routes every time, like, after every battle, after a while. And I'll go with Peter and Wayne, I guess, yeah. Let's talk to Ty for this time. Okay, hey, looky there, I remember you. I'll get this battle on camera. I'll get all this, I'll get this battle all on this ca here camera. All on this here camera. I don't know why I had such a hard time, like, reading that, you know? It's like, what the heck, man, what the heck? So, interview with Gabby Ty. Oh, finally, Magneton. Cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna use Surf, and then I'm gonna use Flintor on the back of the time. There we go, and Hikao. How nice. Level 34 for Peter. Can you stomp on me? Surf attack. Let's go for the shockwave and the double kick. There goes the laundry. If you're grabbing Tyra defeated. Yep, I got it all. The whole battle's on camera. Thanks for the $20.80. The I remember that was your quote you gave us last time. Gave us as the battle clincher last time. I never figured stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure. You will, thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but make it. But it has to be short and sweet. Go! Um, let's just pick a random category. Um, let's do feelings. Um, anger, bad, boy, darn, disappointed. 
Drink. Let's do drink. Drink is awesome. Um, the drink. Um, the drink. If you put all those clinchers together after the time set battle about, about Gabby and Ty. Yeah. I'll, oh, I didn't look for you the last time. Sorry, bro. Ah. Uh, Okay, I got interrupted by that mighty enemy there. I'm gonna switch to... I'll switch to night, actually. Yeah, that seems fun. It's a bird keeper. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? Okay, bird keeper. You look like you're about to beat me up. Okay, Swapu. I'm gonna go for the takedown. So close. So whopping 3 HP. And let's go for the headbutt. There we go. Fuck one more strong. Yep, 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 yep. All true, all true, all true. You can be counted on to get better. I'd like to register in Pokenab. Okay. Bird Keeper Robert. Yeah, look, it's Steven Stone. No, also, I'll point that out in a second. Um, oh, look. It's um, a shadow, but it kind of looks like a Pokemon. Let's talk to Steven Stone. Hmm. Come on, hi. It's been a while. There's something here you can't see, right? Now, if you would choose to survive on the invisible uh, obstacles. No, no, rather than you describing it. Rather than describing it. Uh, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Grotto, are you Pokemon ready for battle? Yes. Grotto, show me your true power as a trainer. Steven used the Devon skill. An invisible Pokemon became completely invisible. The startled Pokemon attacked. It's a Kecleon, a Gecko Pokemon. What is this, Geico? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like the animation there. How that fades out and blinks. Level 3 to Kepler. Now I plan to actually catch this thing, so... Hmm, what should I do? Oh, okay. okay, sorry for the interruption. And... I have to go for the headbutt, I guess. Let's get your screech toward on my defense. We see who's placed in box one. I see your body style is intriguing. Fuck one, I've obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. If you, I'd like you to have this Devon scope, who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon, like the three I just saw before this point, you know? No, no biggie. Gretel, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. And just goes flying. So now I have the Devon scope, we can actually just go over here. Oh no, I'm gonna run into my Pokemon. I knew it! Okay, we can get this, um, you know, kick land all the way, I guess. And it's attacking, okay. Well, in the, in the wild battle, actually, my, uh, the thing was, my knight fell asleep. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to take a turn to um, wake it up though, that's okay. Where's my blue flute? Okay, we'll go, nice. Free side misses. Let's go for the takedown. Okay, misses, okay, fine, whatever. I'm just gonna go for the headbutt then. Okay, 
this is gonna get annoying. I'm starting it three times. Okay, good. It stopped. Thank you. I really appreciate it. One more headbutt should do it. And again, he goes for the side beam, which won't do much because I'm not very. Right. I resist it basically. Because I'm steel type. I think I resist because I'm steel type. Because Rock doesn't resist psychic type moves. But there we go. Here's a nest ball, nice. For uh, use for catching like um, low level Pokemon. Like, it's good for like Pokemon 15 and under. Well, 15 and under, I think. That's my recommendation at least. Because if, like, if it's like 16 or above, I mean. Might have a, that, that might not have as good as an effect, you know? Dang it, I should put a pal on. Okay, sorry for that, you guys. I'm just gonna actually put a pal on for once. So I don't run into wild counters. And last we go a pal. Perfect. I think it should be enough to get through this um, fight with wild Pokemon. So right here is TM something sunny day. TM 11 sunny day. Which actually is a really good Pokemon move. Um, You can use it and it makes it the battle area very sunny, so that means solar beam would only, would only take one turn to use, so it won't have to charge up in kind of quick sunlight. And then it also boosts the boost the, the power of fire type moves as well. And but it lowers when it's used and it's bright out with the sun. You um water type moves will be weakened a little bit. So keep that in mind. Okay, here we are. We're gonna use the Devon Scope on this Kecleon. I believe this Kecleon always flees. This specific one always flees. Okay. So now the gym is open. But I wanna show off one more thing. It's the other Kecleon we saw, I think, at the beginning of this part of the video. I already see it. So I'm gonna go back to this route, which is Route 119, of course. And right here. Just, just use the Devon Scope on this. I think if we, get, if we do this, we get a hidden item. I have to battle it, yay. That's so fun. This one's also a level 30. So, you know. I'm gonna just go for that. Let's try the Iron Tail. I don't know as well I can see, but it hit. Nice. Oh, so close. Made it Steel type. It's okay, Cyber. Okay, so this color change ability basically, if you, if you hit it with an attack type other than a normal type move, It'll, it'll turn into that type. So like for me, I can use Mudsop and it'd be super effective. But I want to actually heal my confusion real quick. So, my yellow food right here. Nice. Let's get a strength attack. And we're gonna go for the Mudsop. And it's, it's super effective because it's color change changes to skill type. So keep that in mind when you're battling one, because I think Kekalan can be really used for competitive battling if you can use it right. What? There's no hidden item here? You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? That's a drag. Oh well. So, um, in the next part, we're gonna take on the gym. And this has been then with Pokemon and World Walkthrough Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on the gym, as we said, the Fortree State Gym, which is the user of. Well, basically, for the trainers and they use flying type Pokemon, so hopefully I'll be ready. So this is Pedronico again. I like the much again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walk the Guide.